what we like That's how we live some nights They want a three-peat hood That's what we like What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally here to update you guys on my nine-month post-op journey. I try really hard to give you guys an eight-month post-op video, but listen, life be life and I'm back to work and I finally have the time to do it. So if you did watch my seven-month post-op video, you've seen the whole month of January. I did not lose a pound. I was stalled. I was freaking out. I was losing my mind. Well, I'm here to tell you the whole month of February, your girl did numbers, okay? She dropped, dropped, dropped. I lost about... 16 pounds in total from February to now. Um, 13 of those pounds was for the whole month of February. March, I only dropped another three pounds. I'm currently in between 210 and 212. I'm kind of like stuck there. It goes up and down um, depending on like what I eat in the day. I haven't really been dropping like much more than that, but I'm hoping that April has beautiful things to bring me as far as the scale dropping. Um, I did start uh, my CrossFit journey at Fearless Athletics and I am absolutely in love with my journey so far. It's definitely hard work. I didn't think that I was going to be as challenged as I am in the gym, but um, for the gym girlies, the lifting babes, like I commend y'all because, you know, it's kind of a struggle getting there. But once I get there, I'm like, okay, I'm good. And I feel so much better after I leave. The growth is insane. The difference that I notice in my body is crazy um, already. And I've only been doing it for a month. Um, I do notice that I'm at a place where I can like eat more um, than I normally could before. So I think right now what I've been mainly doing is trying to incorporate just more discipline um, so that I can stay where I'm at. And not have to worry about, you know, getting to a point where I'm like eating nearly as much as I was before. The goal is to, you know, keep it kind of where it is. I am really, really trying to get to 190. I feel like 190 is a good goal weight for myself. When I initially started, I was like, oh, 175. But I'm actually like really thin um, and I don't want to get too thin. So I feel like if I can lose like another 20 pounds, I'll be good. I can tell that these last 20 that I'm going to actually try to lose is going to be very hard not sure if you guys have been following my journey on instagram or on here but i also got a breast reduction in january and um since then i've been back to work and i've been nothing but like all the island layovers so i can put on cute little tops and i've been able to take pictures and to see the difference of my body is absolutely crazy i'm gonna drop them here for you guys to see wow 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 like <sighs> stunning the girl is stunning the body is well on its way um i'm so proud of myself it feels really really good i just was actually talking to my friend earlier and i was just saying how this is really not an easy journey like for people who are considering this um it's not just something that you do and it just you know come to you overnight if you're not mentally prepared for this or if you're not ready to like you know change your eating habits and you know, it, it can be very difficult and it just feels really good to have maintained this for this far. I have no interest in like going backwards. I still have no regrets with the surgery. I think you guys kind of like get the gist, get the point like by now, like I'm encouraging everyone to do it. Um, If you are this far in your journey and you're watching this video to kind of see like, you know, if we're on the same page, just stay consistent with what you're doing. Stay focused. If you feel like you need to do a little pouch reset, do a pouch reset. I gotta get to Wonderland, y'all. Like Wonderland is a goal of mine. If I don't, if if I don't hit 190, 199 will happen. Okay, like it's gotta happen. I am now in a size 10 work dress. It's absolutely insane. I can't remember the last time I was in a size 10. One thing that I do notice that is kind of annoying. Um, my cycle comes on a different day every single month like some months it'll be like you know in the middle like and then other months it'll be like towards the end or like next thing you know it's like back in the beginning like it's crazy this has been such a freeing process for me like i'm finally happy to look at myself and see myself where i knew that one day i would be one way or another <laughs> one way or another honey and we got here through mexico bariatrics Shout out to them. I did speak to you guys about my skin. My skin was giving me like really, really a hard time um, around November. And I just was like so super, super fed up. I didn't know what to do. I was like, all right, I'm gonna try Curology. And I try Curology and breakouts are minimal. I have like random breakouts here and there, but like nothing crazy. The only thing that I'm really working on right now is scarring. My mom brought to my attention how much like, you know, the palette can change in this process. And I literally have never been 
the kind of person to like eat sweets or have a sweet tooth. And now you would think that I was like six months pregnant, like craving a McFlurry for McDonald's. Like I need something sweet, like so annoying. So, but yeah, that's it. You know, the videos are always short and sweet. If you're not following me on Instagram at the glass table girl, I don't bite, ask questions. You know the drill, drop the comments. Um, thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.